Marco plays those games. Well, my friend, uh, this is not a professional video, but I have only to try to install the DOS 6.22 uh, on the 486, and I would like to do it uh, with you. I'm uh, really, really, really happy um, because this 486 is my original one. I thought it could be lost because I sold it uh, in the 90s to a friend of mine to buy a Pentium and uh, fortunately uh, asking to my friend he answered me that uh, this computer uh, may be in his garage and uh, we found it there in very good condition, perfect condition and <laughs> I'm very, as I said, very very happy to to have it uh, again with me, ready to return to those life. I want to show you something inside uh, before starting the DOS installation process. Sorry, as I said, it's not a professional video. I'm not prepared. To, to to this video, and I will try to be uh, to be clear. Okay, uh, I think there is no enough light. In any case, this is a Sound Blaster AWE 64 Gold. This is a S3 video card uh, TR Hi Ho 64. V2, one of the best uh, 2D cards uh, before the 3D and uh, the CPU is a Cyrix DX266 IBM Lightning 32 MB I perfectly cleaned uh, this, uh, this computer in the last days I also opened the power supply and, and cleaned the fan uh, there's uh, it's very good it's very good it's like new and uh, the only problem that I found obviously was the battery of the CMOS dead um, but uh, unfortunately it was not easy to, to, to change because the battery was internal to the RTC the real-time clock I don't know if you can see the holding it's like the Dallas and um, I have to follow a procedure to try to bypass this uh, internal dead battery and connect an external one that here you can see and um, yesterday night I tried the computer after this uh, intervention and uh, the computer was okay I say I configured in the setup the, the time and data and uh, this morning was uh, still okay no battery dead message again and well done my friend now uh, ah, yesterday night I also um, um, formatted the hard disk that uh, in any case started and it seems to be okay I formatted it and now we will install the, the DOS okay this is my original floppies of the DOS 6.22 and this is the manual this is the last standalone DOS. The later, mm, the later version will be inserted in the in the Windows. Uh, okay, I will use not the original floppies, obviously, but I have some copies. And now we will see also if these are copies are still okay after almost 15 20 years 15 to 20 years 
here you can see the speaker the, of the creative and uh, I'm using uh, this Philips monitor I have another one CRT Philips 19 inches this is a 14 but I will uh, take uh, the 19 uh, if the uh, hole will be okay because uh, it's easy to transport <laughs> uh, okay the first floppy seems to be okay it's an Italian version because as you know I'm Italian I sold this computer to this friend of mine uh, without the big floppy drive five and, uh, five and a quarter uh, I took it uh, with me and uh, because uh, this is my first floppy drive uh, of the M240 that was uh, the first computer that I owned at my home my father bought it for me um, the M24 as I said yes is the first computer that I used but in it, in the, my father's laboratory the M240 uh, was the announced version as I said before the first PC that I had at my home are a lot of years that uh, I don't install uh, the MS-DOS uh, 6.22 The CD-ROM is not still installed because I have to search the data cable. Uh, I didn't found it uh, yet. It is probably in the garage with a lot of other stuffs. Ah, the man maker! Wow, the man maker. It was used to for the expanded memory. Memory. 
for for me installing those programs is uh, relaxing As I show you inside there is a um, Sunblaster AWE64 Gold that was the last uh, Sunblaster ISA slot that I had. Uh, before that Sunblaster I had uh, I had uh, also the first one 8 bit and another 16 bit that uh, were lost when I sold uh, uh, that uh, previous uh, PCs. Uh, I have still with me uh, the this Avewe 32 and uh, the 64 that you saw inside the case. I have also another VGA, VGA, the Tsang. 4000 P 32 W 32 P that was another nice uh, video card PCI Okay, the first and the second floppies were still okay. As I said before, yesterday I formatted the hard disk because uh, uh, my friends used it, I wanted them to, to clean it. In a, the drawer I found also the key of the case that uh, uh, I didn't give to my friend when I, when I sold the computer they were uh, with me these are the key to lock the keyboard on the case For my point of view, the 486DX266 is the best DOS computer. I consider the DX4 100 MHz 486 uh, already a Windows CPU. And uh, with this computer, you can play a lot of DOS games uh, because there is also the turbo button that can slow down. Uh, the performance and then you can use also here their games we, uh, and they uh, are not too fast okay okay the installation of the DOS seems to be okay and now we see if it's okay this is the motherboard UM8810P uh, of the 94 version 2.0 Okay, before leaving I want to try the MEM Maker Yes, EMS, expanded memory. I remember that Wing Commander asked for expanded memory, if I'm not wrong.
Okay, now the PC will boot probably two times to search the best configuration of the main maker. Dos life, my friend. Dos life. Okay. It seems to be good. Thank you, my friends. See you next time. The auto exit punto bat. Oh. Excellent. Marco plays those games.